Hey there everyone, this is Shadigo and welcome to the Final Fight of Sonic 3. Um, this is Eggman's ultimate weapon for this game, and yet still no super sight. Um, those, these six rings you have at the start of the level, they're the only rings you have. Um, this boss has many farms. Uh, this first farm is the lasers, it uh, shoots the lasers, it, it tries to aim for you. And uh, does that twice and then goes into the arena so that you can attack it. Second phase is the homing flamethrower. Uh, we've seen that a couple of times. Uh, it does that it does it three times and then comes into the arena to try and attack you. And here's where I lose my ring. And I'm kinda of scared at the moment because I don't want to die. Uh, after the third time he throws the flamethrower, he will come back and he will go into the arena again. Uh, next phase is the hands. Basically you uh, you pretty much have to go them and to try and slam you and then have them complete the match. Uh, when you hear the rip 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 thing, then uh, that's when the hands about to slam so uh, when you hear that, just keep moving and you should be fine. Uh, after a few attempts, both hands will go to the sides and then they'll try and rush the floor. Uh, once that happens, Dr. Eggman, Eggman will uh, come forward and you can hit him. It's actually the easiest farm to be honest. Uh, next farm is shooting common missiles. It shoots six common missiles and you can see the shadows on the floor where they will hit. They will try to aim for you. And uh, Eggman will only come on for a split second before firing missiles at you again. Um, once the missiles have fallen down, you have to you pretty much have to be really close to him in order to. Uh, oh, once he's once he comes back, you just have to be really close to him in order to hit him. And that gives me some problems, mainly because I have zero rings, and uh, I don't want bad hitboxes to protect him to kill me. Uh, has actually been killing me a few times actually. Uh, I believe it actually killed me the, the first time which is why I, have, I only have three lives here. Uh, is this the one where I kill him? Get it? No. But yeah, pretty much have to practically be in front of him in order to give it, throw a head off the side. That's him. And we go to this, uh, this is the final proper phase of this uh, boss. Uh, this is basically a lot like the final phase of the um, Panic Puppet fight. Uh, same rule applies, you stick to the top corners and just jump. Then the uh, marbles will get you and you can just uh, eventually Eggman will pop up and you can hit him. And then the cycle repeats, you only have to once uh, the cycle repeats. Once you get to the uh, marble thing and hit him again, uh, that's it, game over. So whilst I'm doing that, I'm going to pretty much start my opinion of the game. Um, it's not my favourite to uh, the Genesis Sonic games. Not really one of my favourite Sonic games at all. It's mainly due to um, the fact that it's like, isometric platforming and just like the isometric view in general. That just I just don't really like. Um, I never actually played, this is actually the only Genesis Sonic game I never actually uh, played before actually getting to, getting to it so properly by uh, uh, I think it was, it was one of the collections uh, on the GameCube that actually had it. And I played it on that. And uh, I also had the, uh, oh, I also had the PC version as well. Uh, back when I had a computer that to run it properly, and uh, yeah, a lot of the th a lot of things are really even more frustrating playing with a keyboard. I mean, really need to play this game with a uh, joypad. There's also a couple of things that I actually want to mention: with the, the Genesis version of the game, and the Mega Drive version. There is a cheat. Uh, basically, you cheat is spell out uh, Barracuda. Uh, by pressing B, A, right, A, C, up, down, A. Uh, how do you know this is because the first letters of each of the buttons, as well as up, down, and right, spell Barracuda, which is pretty nifty. 
Um, I've, I've sat in the PC version. Um, all the music for that game was actually done by. Uh, I'd like to say Jack Villeneuve, but it's not. It's uh, Richard Jacks, who would do music. He would do music for Jet Set Radio, and would also provide some of the music remixes for Sonic Generations. Um, the main theme of Sonic 3D, the PC Saturn version, actually comes in as the one of the mission themes in uh, the modern version and the Xbox version of Sonic Generations. There you go. There's the boss defeated. And um, also with um, the Saturn PC version, uh, there was actually the lyrics. As was, the main theme actually had lyrics, um, and I forget who sung them. But uh, Richard Jacks and that person would go on to do the music for Sonic R. Uh, the same person who did the theme for the for Sonic 3D Blast uh, for the Saturn and the PC, and. Um, my car, which is a fun fact to know. Anyway, all the footage is safe, this is how is safe, and the uh, smoke is going to go on to the next adventure. So, I'm going to leave you with the credit roll, and that's it. I will see you later. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm actually going to be going back to Samurai Warriors to finish off the remaining characters that I've not yet to, uh, completed. So, until I start that, I will see you later. Ciao!